is it's going to be a combination of wind and rain that's going to cause the problems over the next couple of days, Martin. It's really bad timing, isn't it? Just ahead of the, the Christmas break, of course. But, uh, well, that's how things turn out. Uh, amber warnings at the moment across South Wales and virtually all of southern England. We're talking about, well, over higher ground, over 60 millimetres of rain. So there could be perhaps for even four or five inches of rain in a place like Dartmoor. That all feeds down into the river systems. Elsewhere, maybe... Uh, to 20 to 40 millimetres, so getting on for a couple of inches. Now, this is all falling on ground that's already pretty saturated from all the unsettled weather we've had over the last couple of weeks. So, yes, there's likely to be uh, rivers swelling up as a result and perhaps uh, some flash flooding as well. Now, tell us about the weather system that's bringing us these conditions. It's forming at the moment off the east coast of America where they're also actually having some travel problems in the run-up to Christmas. Quite a lot of snow down the east coast of the States and some very cold air moving out of eastern Canada. As that pushes out across the Atlantic, it's being propelled by an incredibly strong jet stream. This is the high-level winds that propel these storms across the Atlantic over 280 miles an hour. I've never seen anything that strong. Now, we're not seeing those winds at the surface, of course. This is what's driving the storm. I was going to say, it must be travelling pretty quickly if it's going to be here tomorrow and Tuesday. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be later on tomorrow that it starts to arrive. Also, the main centre of the storm will be into uh, Christmas Eve before it arrives across the northwest of the UK. Now, there's some talk that the, the pressure system, when it arrives on the northwest coast of Scotland, is close to being the deepest such system we've ever seen. Is that, is that true? It's not going to be far off. Um, the lowest pressure ever recorded in the British Isles over land is 925 millibars. Now, at the moment, this low is predicted to go down to around about 927 millibars, but it will stay offshore, so it's more difficult to actually measure the central pressure because you haven't got weather stations, obviously, out over the ocean, or not that many. We've got some floating buoys to actually measure that central pressure. So it's unlikely to be a record breaker, but it gives you some indication of just how notable it'll be. So finally, contrary to some of the more sensational newspaper headlines we've seen, it won't be a white Christmas for many of us. <laughs> well, we've had some snow today, actually, across uh, northern Scotland, which has caused problems for travellers as well, the higher level routes. There'll be more of that tonight. But uh, no, by the time we get into Christmas Day, all the stormy weather will have moved through. It'll be much quieter. One or two showers in the west, you might just see a bit of sleet or a flake of snow out of that. But that's about as much as we're going to see, I think.